Hi students, O-Levels Online presents the video lecture series for other adjustments of financial statements. In this video, we will discuss the last in frist out, LIFO method's impact on financial statements and its key considerations. This video series is helpful for those students who are appearing in Cambridge O-Level upcoming exams, either in June or November, through CAIE or IGCSE or IGCSE, 9 to 1, for accounting 7707, or 0452 or 0985. Let's begin the lesson material, in balance sheet, lower ending inventory values. In income statement, higher cost of goods sold leads to lower gross profit and lower net income. Let's check its key considerations. The first key consideration is tax implications. It has further two subparts. The first part is the lower taxable income. Higher cost of goods sold leads to lower taxable income, which can reduce income tax liabilities. This is a significant advantage in times of inflation. The second part is, regulatory compliance. LIFO is not allowed under international financial reporting standards. Companies using IFRS must use FIFO or another inventory valuation method. Let's check another consideration. The second key consideration is cash flow impact. It has further two subparts. The first part is the improved cash flow. Lower tax payments under LIFO can result in improved cash flows from operating activities. The second part is potential volatility. Changes in inventory costs can lead to volatility in reported earnings and cash flows, impacting financial stability. Let's check another consideration. The third key consideration is inventory management. It has further two subparts. The first part is the physical flow versus accounting flow. LIFO assumes the latest inventory is sold first for accounting purposes, but this may not reflect the actual physical flow of goods. Companies must ensure that physical inventory management practices align with LIFO assumptions. The second part is obsolescence risk. Older inventory may remain unsold for extended periods, increasing the risk of obsolescence or spoilage. Let's check another consideration. The fourth key consideration is financial analysis. It has further two subparts. The first part is the comparability. Financial statements using LIFA may not be directly comparable to those using FIFO or other methods, especially in industries with significant price volatility. The second part is ratios. Financial ratios, such as gross margin and inventory turnover, may be affected by the use of LIFO. Analysts need to consider the impact of LIFO on these ratios when evaluating company performance. Let's check another consideration. The fifth key consideration is the economic environment. It has further two subparts. The first part is the inflation. LIFO is particularly advantageous in periods of inflation, as it matches higher recent costs against current revenues, reducing taxable income. The second part is, deflation. In deflationary periods, LIFO can result in lower cost of goods sold and higher taxable income, which might not be beneficial. Let's check another consideration. The final key consideration is administrative complexity. It has further two subparts. The first part is the record keeping. LIFO requires meticulous record keeping to track inventory layers and ensure accurate calculation of cost of goods sold and ending inventory. The second part is inventory layers. Businesses must manage multiple layers of inventory costs, which can be complex and time consuming. Let's move to another slide. Positively, you got the clear understanding of the impact on financial statements, and related key considerations of LIFO method of inventory valuation, as per your syllabus, and examination point of view. If you have any query, regarding the lesson, kindly ask in the comment section of this video. We will discuss the working example, for LIFO method in the upcoming next video. You can download the related formats and lesson material through the link provided below. Thank you for watching I hope you learned something new today. If you did, like and share video with other people to learn from it. And please subscribe my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.